Hi, Forge here from Attitudes. Welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Short. In this tutorial, and which will be a series of tutorials coming soon, we're going to have a look at making an intro for your channel or video. In this tutorial, we're going to start by making a motion tracking intro. Okay? And basically, I'll explain that as it goes along, but basically that means a video clip that has text or a mask or an image stuck to a certain point on the video. Gives a nice effect, you'll see. You're going to need a video clip that's around mm, 10 to 20 seconds long, if you want to edit down to a point that you, you, you think will fit better. But if, essentially it's going to end up as around a 6 second clip, so it's up to you. Okay, so we're going to import our footage into our project window. Okay, I'm going to use this skiers video. You can go to uh, royalty free videos to get the kind of video you want, but I think I've got these three in the magazine, so it's up to you. Whatever you want to use. Okay, we're going to create new composition. Okay, and as you can see, this is just people skiing. Nothing to it. Okay, so we're going to go to about two seconds. Okay, about right for me. I'm going to bring the bracket in on this side. And the bracket in to about, mm, about eight seconds on this side. And then I'm going to right click on the grey area and trim comp to work area. Now the whole clip is around four seconds long. Okay. Uh, six seconds long, whatever. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go to Layer, New, Null Object. Now click back on the video, okay, the actual video, and go up to Workspace and take it from Standard and put it to Motion Track. Once you do that, you'll see we now have a tracker box over here, okay. Go ahead and click on Track Motion. And make sure your motion source is the video clip you imported. Okay, not the null object. And then you go to go down here to edit target, click that, and make sure the layer is on null one. And click OK. Now bring the uh, scrubber or the red line to where you want your intro to start. And you'll see we have a box here, track point one. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to click in between the cross here and the first box left click and hold down and you'll see that you can now move that around okay like so and we want to put this on a point that's like not here for example because when the video plays on as it go down the hill this will disappear so we want to put it on something that's static within the video that's something that's going to stay in the video no matter what and the skiers just are perfect for this so we're going to go up to this, this skiers head which has plenty of contrast okay plenty of dark versus bright I'm going to place it there okay now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over here to the right hand side, and I'm going to go to Analyze Forward. And once you press this, you'll see that the track point 1, the box that's applied to the head, sticks to that point, roughly, okay? Depending on how good your point is you selected to put it, it will determine how well the track point sticks. But as this is only a 6 second clip, I'm not going to worry too much about, you know, pinpoint accuracy here. But if you want to do a good professional intro, you can do that if you want. Okay, so as we get nearer to the end of the clip, and the skiers go on, you see it's gone down to our arm a little bit. Well, I'm not too worried about that, because for what I have in mind, it doesn't really matter once it doesn't go like way off the other side of the screen or something. And there we go, we get to the end, and it's done. Okay, so you can see there are the track points. Now that's going to suit me, so I'm going to click on Apply. Okay, make sure it says X and Y, and click OK. Now you see we have hundreds of keyframes okay which are automatically done for you and you can close that box there and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the text horizontal type tool and um, we're going to go back to the start of the clip and we're going to let's say type click in and type something like skiers okay don't know if that's spelled right but by the way it'll do now I want that to stick out a good bit, so I'm going to go to um, the text box here, and I'm going to change the color. Maybe change it to white, maybe apt for skiing, okay, and it's nice and sticks out. And you could change the font and everything else, and the size, anything you like, okay. So, what you're going to do is move that to where you want it to be in your intro, okay, let's say over her head, or over here, or wherever you want. And then, down here in the 
timeline, okay, the composition, we're going to take this pick whip, this little kind of like ever decreasing circle thing, we're going to left click on it, we're going to hold down, and we're going to move your mouse over to null 1, and you get this line here, this effect, over to null 1, and let go, okay? Now what's going to happen is, Skiers has just taken on all the transform characteristics of null 1 and put them into Skiers. So Skiers is now following this null point which we've assigned to our head. And if we scrub forward, you get the idea of what I'm talking about. You see there the text, no matter how far in on the video I go, the text sticks to the point in our head where we applied the motion tracking. And it doesn't have to be about skiing. If you have one on gaming, you can do the same thing with a gaming video or the same tennis, anything you like, whatever you're into. Okay? So I, I just think it's a nice little kind of quick and easy tutorial. You can mess around with the text, add some glows and stuff if you like, add some effects to it yourself. But for now, that's just a basic motion tracking tutorial. And the next tutorial, the next tutorial I do on intros will have three or four alternatives for you to use for an intro. So before we go, I'm going to do a RAM preview by hitting numpad 0. And there you go. That's the final result. Okay, that's pretty cool. So once again anyway, thanks for coming to another Attitudes tutorial. And I hope to see you next time when I do about 4 or 5 more intros and we'll go in the next tutorial. And for now, this is Port Meditude saying bye bye.